Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Hezra and now we're about doing another animated horror story reaction video called Creepy Guy Asked Me If We Can Have Children. That's a weird title. So if you're not subscribed to this channel already, please subscribe. Also make sure to follow me on TikTok at Hezron17. If you don't know how to spare, uh, spell it, I meant it's H-E-Z-R-O-N 17 all together. And uh, yeah, so let me talk let's get on with the video. Creepy guy asked me if we can have children. Hi, I'm Evelyn and I'm 13 years old. This happened when I went to my stepbrother who lives overseas. I was staying there for a week and okay, one I thought, day I- Oh, I'm sorry for a second. <laughs> that like something, oh my God, I got like scared. Cause when I watch scary movies, I get super paranoid. Like, cause this chair, it bends back all the way. Like, I don't know how it's not bending back anymore. I think my, like, my brother fixed it. But then, because it usually bends back all the way. So then, I thought something was behind it, holding it. And then, I turn around to see if something's holding it. But no, it's just the chair is fixed. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I went to a local market with my sister-in-law, her daughter, and my mom to buy groceries. After we bought some vegetables, my mom and my sister-in-law wanted to get some anymore. bowls and cups. But I didn't really care about it because I just wanted to go home already. I was tired of walking. As we were walking to another shop, a guy who looked to be in his 40s or 50s came up to me and gave me a flower. To be honest, For he Valentine's looked Day? kind of innocent at first. How's that a- hold up. Flower. Hold up, hold up. To be how's, that a, how's that a face? Of an innocent person, okay? That's that's a face of a pedophile, okay? That does not Honest, look innocent. He looked kind of innocent at first. No, he doesn't. I didn't think that my mom or the others noticed what happened because they just entered the shop. Well, now I feel like I should tell you the fact that I look older than I actually am. How old are you? Because of the way I dress, some people think that I'm 16 or 17. You're anyway, not? I will go back to the story. When he you're gave not me a 16 flower, or 17? I was a bit surprised, you look like you're like 16. but just thanked him for it. And before I turned to go, Are you 14 he then or something? asked me or if 13? he could give a hug. I got a little scared okay. because I always see lots of stuff on the internet, so I knew that I shouldn't like let what? him hug me. I tried to give him his flower back, and I kept telling him that no, I'm not really comfortable with hugging strangers. But he kept insisting that he mm -hmm. wanted to hug me. Yeah, get out here with that creepy again smile. and again. After he understood that he is not allowed to hug me, he seemed to have given up. So I thought it was over and turned around. Right. Then all of a sudden, uh, he grabbed me and tried to kiss the back of my hand. I immediately pulled my hand away, and at that point, I was scared but really angry too. I knew that my mom was in the shop, but the road was quiet, so this situation was enough to make me afraid. After Scream. I pulled my hand away, he seemed surprised like I did something wrong to him. Then he asked me if we could get married. I was asking myself if he was joking or something. I refused no it, of asks course, that question. but then he asked if he could have children with me. When I looked up at him, he was smiling Whoa. and looked happy. Whoa. happy. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Why? I was literally shaking. At that moment, Bro, run. Why are you still standing happened. there? I'm not sure if he saw another girl or he just realized there was no point in trying anymore. But anyway, he said, people. All right, have a good day. And walked to the other side of the road. Oh, I think he knew that you're about to scream. He gave up, and so I gave attention. Into the store. I got next to my mom, but said nothing. Why? And on our oh way to the God. car, I threw the flower away, feeling disgusted. <laughs> Why do you still have it? You carried it around in your store? Like, bro, I would do the second anyone gives me a, a creepy. Anyone gives me a flower, I'll drop it the second they give it to me. I could come back home, and I felt thankful that I would be here with my family. After that, uh, whenever I go outside, outside I always yeah. beware of everything and never receive any stuff from strangers. Smart. That's a good choice. Whoa, what's up with you? <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was kind of a short video, like three minutes. Maybe we should react to something else. 
Yeah, someone tried to break into my house several times. There we go. Oh, this music's more creepy, bro. Nah, turn it down. I Do recently I moved music? out to I attend university in a different town, so I rented oh, a flat where I live alone. Make sure no one's Every standing morning, behind me. I took my bicycle, which I keep in the basement of my building, and went to my lectures. Usually, the neighborhood is quiet, but one night around 1 o'clock a.m., my door phone rang. This was unusual, but I brushed it off as a mistake from someone who got drunk. It rang again, but I, mean, I that's kept what we ignoring do. it. If an unknown number this calls us, we think it's a scam, so we don't times. answer. So it began to annoy me. One day, I returned from my lecture and found a bus ticket placed on my door handle. Bus ticket. This ticket was from a bus in my hometown, and it appeared to be mine, as the bus number on it was the bus that I frequently used. At this moment, I started to get concerned that someone was pranking me. That same night, I kept my front window a bit open to keep an eye on the entrance. Wait, do you I live, in, live third? on the second floor, so it's too high for anyone to climb. Uh, I, I wouldn't be so cocky, cause I the only way I'll open no, I wouldn't open it at all. I don't care about the the seventeenth floor up. I don't care. I wouldn't open my window. Lights and waited, and at that moment, the door phone rang again. This time, I checked through the window, and there was a shadowy figure of a man. He waited for about five minutes, oh, and then Oh, it's like a doorbell? Oh, I that was your phone. I considered calling okay. the police, but I had nothing to report besides a strange man ringing my door phone late at night. Oh, so it's a door I soon phone. ignored okay. it. I get it. But what happened some days after almost made me go crazy. Like, what happened? It was around 3 a.m., and the door phone rang again. By this time, though, I heard the front door shut. Someone must have forgotten to lock it. So I assumed that the man was now inside the building. Lock your Terrified, door. Terrified, I went to the kitchen and grabbed the biggest knife I had. Ooh, she then ready, I bro. stood behind the front door and waited. The doorbell rang. I think my stomach dropped at that point. He rang again and then Police, knocked bro. strongly. I stayed frozen for an eternity until I couldn't hear bro. anything. I was relieved and went to sleep after a while, which in hindsight was very stupid, as yeah. I should have made sure that the man had left the building. The or following the morning, as I was leaving for my lecture, I noticed some scratches near the front door's handle, as if someone had tried to mess with the lock. I immediately went to my landlord, who lives right above me, and explained everything that had been going on. Whoa. He reassured me that everything would be fine. No, wouldn't it? So I went to get my bike, but as I walked towards the basement door, what? I noticed that the, the lock open? was broken. I finally understood. Wait. The man from was... last night must have hidden in there. I hadn't heard the front door shut Whoa. again yesterday, so Whoa. that must have meant that Please the man don't was jump still scare. here. Please don't jump. I ran upstairs again and told my landlord. He got angry, grabbed a bat, and went to check. All I could hear was struggling Whoa. noises as my landlord oh. beat that man senseless. Dang, dude. We then called the police, who arrived a few yeah, moments take that. later and arrested him. Get out of here with your orange Lorax hair, bro. I still remember his face to this day, as he looked straight at me silently. It turned out that this man had been following me for days and was trying to rob my house. He had done the same thing to other people in the past. Why her house? I don't know what happened to him afterwards. Now get out here, I Lorax. He is in prison. Uh, I am forever grateful to my landlord for being so brave. We replaced the locks on every door, so now I feel safer. Well, I would have forgotten about this if I didn't open my mailbox recently and find another Whoa. bus ticket. Oh. Dude, it's more people. It's not that only guy. It's more of them. Dude, if I were you, I'll move. I would move to the farthest place ever, bro. Uh, what I do? Oh, okay. So, uh, that was the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, bye, everyone.